Hey what's up guys welcome to FindGap and if you have built your Node.js application and ready to deploy it on a live server then this video will work as a guideline for you. So without any delay let's start. Okay first of all you can see that this is my just uh, demo Node.js application and uh, it is only contain one REST API endpoint uh, which returns a list of users from a mock data JSON file okay so now we want to deploy it on a server how we will do that first of all you need to push this code on a github repository okay so first of all you can see i have opened my browser and here i will type github so this is my github account i will create a new repository and i am going to name name this node rest hyphen api you can provide a description i will remain this public you can also keep this private it's up to you and uh, next i will click on create repository okay our node rest api repository have been created uh, now we need to follow these steps for instance first of all i will type git in it so i will open my this application i will open terminal inside this and first of all i will clear the terminal and here i will type git space in it uh, i hope you will have some knowledge about git so uh, these commands will be used to push this code on a new repository so first of all i will type git in it and then i will type git add space dot okay just ignore them okay once you type git add and space dot then what you will do you will type git commit and you can copy this command and uh, paste here okay okay and after this you need to type here you need to type this command then you will type this command okay and then you will type git push minus u origin main so basically you need to uh, use you can directly use uh, follow this to basically these commands will push your uh, this node.js directory to your new created github repository okay okay uh, the i believe it's our code is uploaded to our github repository let me go back and check so first of all i will click on code so you can see that handlers our node module so each and everything is pushed to our new created github repository the next step is i'm going to use render uh, before moving on make sure you have an active card uh, maybe a bank card because a render will not allow you to deploy your application without you provide them the credentials of your bank account not bank account but your uh, debit or credit card so i will type here render and i will open this click here i have already created my account if you have not created your account maybe you will see the sign in button here or somewhere so you need to create your account on render because i already have done this so that's why i'm directly uh, watching this dashboard but maybe you will require to sign up first of all here okay once you will sign up then you need to uh, select this web services so i will click on it web services and from here again you will need to perform another step and that step is you need to connect your github account with your this render okay so maybe you will uh, see any button here that connect github once you will click on this a pop-up window will be opened uh, on github which will maybe ask you to allow access or maybe it will ask you the password of your github account and once you will done this you can see that um, my github account is connected with render okay so here let me repeat you need to connect your github account with render i have already done this so from here uh, source code i will i can select a public git repository because i make my this repository public but uh, if your repository is private then uh, while connecting your github account with render it will ask you either you want to give access to your all repositories or any specific repositories okay my repos uh, here you can see that for an uh, instance I only have access to render my one repository but my repository is public repository so I can select this one so both uh, are usable you, either you can use any repositories from here or you can use public git repository so now what I need to do I need to simply copy my URL and need to paste here and uh, click on connect okay now from here you need to provide something a uh, unique name for your web service so maybe you can uh, give any name to this and your organization name or whatever you want so i will remain this as it is no rest api and uh, then language obviously you have uh, built our project on node.js 
so node js is automatically selected uh, and okay so i have choose from here you you need to remain this as it is it means our main branch code will be used to build and deploy your node.js application and from here uh, because we need to we everything is in our root directory our main file so if you're if you have uploaded your repository and maybe you have a backend folder separate and frontend folder separate so then you need to provide the backend you will uh, provide the directory like uh, like this backend okay but in my case uh, i only have uploaded my backend to this repository so i will uh, i will miss this okay so now the build command uh, my build command is npm install and my start command is uh, npm start okay here you need to uh, give the command that you use to build your project and in the second you need to give the command that you use to start your project uh, from here you can you need to select a plan either you want to uh, select starter pro or pro max they also provide you free uh, plan for hobby project so i will select this one and uh, from here you need to provide your environment variables because my application is very new so that's why there is no env file and there are no environment variables but if you are building a professional application your application will contain environment variables so each environment variable and its value you need to provide here and you can use this button to add uh, multiple environment variables and that's it uh, once you will done this you need to click on this deploy web service button okay okay i now let me again click on deploy web service okay uh, once you will follow these steps it will ask you for your card number that i already told you in the uh, middle level of this video so you need to provide your card number and uh, its expiry and cvc and then you need to click on add card but uh, hopefully once you will done this your app will be deployed on the render but uh, my card i'm not going to use my card at the moment due to some reasons but friends i hope that uh, this video will guide you that how you actually can deploy your application uh, deploy the back end of your application on render uh, let me repeat first of all you need to create a git, new git repository and you need to connect your render with your github and then you need to simply uh, fill out some information in this form and just need to click on deploy web service your backend service will be deployed on render uh, i hope that this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section and uh, finally thanks for watching